You likely remember watching old-timey videos of people waving as a new ship is christened and sent out to sea for the first time. The Titanic is probably the most historic example. Ship launches are still prestigious events, although you probably won't see as many people in fancy hats waving. A ship launch is designed to symbolize the hard work and effort of the ship engineers, designers, owner, and operator. Unfortunately, sometimes all of that hard work immediately goes down the gutter as the ship launch does not go as planned. For the most part, these disasters tend to be the result of one small mistake. An error that, if fixed, could have saved everybody involved a lot of time and money. So, sit back and relax as we go over five ship launches that went horribly wrong. As of this video, there are over 50,000 merchant ships trading internationally. So much cargo has to be transported around the globe in our increasingly connected society that making another cargo ship is a huge accomplishment and a worthwhile endeavor. But with so many cargo ships needing to be built, there are bound to be a few misfires every now and then. Well, that is precisely what happened for this vessel. It comes out of the yard with full fanfare. The engineers are standing nearby to see all of their hard work come to fruition. And at first, everything seems to be going according to plan. It's the main voyage of this cargo ship. Newly restored at great expense, she takes to the water with in the video, you can see the engineers and designers applauding their creation. The ship looks great, and it's moving along at a brisk pace. But things quickly take a drastic turn. The boat barely lasts 20 seconds outside of the yard before it starts to tilt to its starboard side. Fortunately, the ship doesn't flip all the way upside down, but it obviously can't go out to sea like that. Luckily, no one was on the main deck at the time of the tilting. You can see all of the equipment and supplies falling off to one side, but no one was there to sustain any injuries. What do you think would have caused a big ship to tilt like that? Let us know in the comments. At least the previous ship had a chance to get out to sea for a little. This next one was still partially on land when things went wrong. The ship, which was a Coast Guard patrol boat ordered by the Ministry of Transportation, was being launched from a port in Jakarta. Everything was going smooth as the crew tried to lower it into the ocean. However, it wasn't long before the ship lost its center of balance and, well, you know the rest. You can see the onlookers react in horror once it's clear the ship is about to capsize, and there is nothing they can do to stop it. After the ship is on its side, the first crew members begin jumping off. Luckily, there were no injuries. According to an article that came out shortly after the incident, it was made clear an investigation would immediately occur to determine why the ship tilted that way. Additionally, Arafin Suario, head of the port in question, said that the shipyard company should be sanctioned and not allowed to create any new state ships until the investigation was completed. You may be wondering what those cylindrical devices are underneath the ship. Turns out, they're pretty common when it comes to ship launches. They go by many names, such as marine airbags, airlift bags, salvage bags, or roller bags. They are usually anywhere between 0.8 and 2.5 meters in diameter, and they're frequently used in many countries for ship launches. They're desirable for such events because they're a great investment, saving the company responsible for the launch both time and labor. 
You'll see them quite frequently in the videos to come. The people in this next video try to get their boat into the water via crane. Everything seems to be going okay at first. The boat is strapped in and ready to go. Now, they just need to lift it up so that they can gently lower it into the water. As you should expect by now, not everything goes according to plan. Things look alright initially, but you can gradually hear something start to buckle under the immense weight. Something is about to give, and the boat owner is about to have a very, very bad day. Luckily, no one was standing right where the boat fell. Also, from what we can tell, it doesn't look like it ended up completely falling into the water. Which, I guess, is one positive out of all of this. The video cuts out before we can see how they planned to retrieve the boat. One can only hope that they at least got that part right. When you gather a bunch of people for your big event, you want everything to go swimmingly. If you thought you had it bad when the pizza at your last birthday party arrived late, just imagine what the engineers of this luxury cruise ship felt when their boat was unable to float. The crew tried to lower the vessel into the water with marine airbags, but things didn't go as planned. Almost immediately, the ship begins to slide off the airbags, because of the angle it's on, a large portion is left submerged in the water. People immediately go to the bow of the ship to try to balance it out. With all of their might, they try to get the vessel to regain its balance and float perfectly on the water. However, at a certain point, they must have recognized that all their effort was for naught. There was no way that ship was going to float that day. It turns out, this vessel was constructed by the city of Lanzhou and was meant to launch on September 29th, 2011. The project was already incredibly expensive, but the ship launch only complicated matters further. When all was said and done, the boat cost the equivalent of 2.5 million in US dollars. Luckily, the vessel was able to be salvaged. It's believed the reason the ship couldn't float was due to the presence of copper in the boat's hold. They were able to get the ship out of the water and began to undergo repairs. However, for that day, when the people in charge wanted everything to go perfectly, they fell into an embarrassing setback. On June 16, 2012, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration launched a new ship. The ship was named the Reuben Lasker. The daughter of the pioneering fisheries scientist for whom the vessel was named after was in attendance for this launch. She even christened the boat in protective lab goggles. Large crowds gathered in all directions, eagerly awaiting the launch. When the time came, everything was going according to plan. That is, until the boat touched the water. The video gets replayed again in slow motion so that you can really see those wooden posts become upended and head straight for the camera. There were some injuries reported at the scene, but fortunately, no one was critically injured. It's a bit unusual for there to have been so much wood at the scene. The person who captured the footage would later write about why, saying, The boats normally have steel rails welded to the hulls that ride along the metal bleacher looking things when the boat is set free. After the launch, these are obviously removed. However, with this boat design, they were unable to attach these steel rails and had to use wooden ones instead. I have a friend that works for the shipyard and basically someone made a huge misjudgment and the wood split and flew everywhere, as you can obviously see from the video. After this incident, viewers were no longer allowed to be so close to the launches. 
It wasn't long before more footage began to circulate online of the incident, but from other angles. One person managed to capture the launch in such a way that you could clearly see where the original camera person was standing. Watch closely at the bottom left of the screen. Ship launches are always a sight to see. It's for that very reason that we made this video. But if you ever happen to see a ship launch in person, maybe it's better not to get too close. Who knows what might happen?